Hey there. You there, Casper? Hey, Conrad. Great to see you. Believe me, I've reached out numerous times, but, you know, I'm a big fan of your work. I, I appreciate your work outside of Starship Troopers, you know. That was the first film that, that you know, got me watching your work, you know. I'm a big fan of your films like The Tracker, pretty, oh, good, wow. pretty good movie. Uh, Sanctimony, that was pretty good. Oh, wow. Uh, Under Heavy Fire. My wow. personal favorite role of yours was James Dean, Race with Destiny. Oh, wow. Yeah, you got a lot of them. Yeah, I'm a huge fan of your work. Uh, anytime your movies come on, like on Sci-Fi, Sarkopus vs. Werewolf, uh, I watch it, you know. I loved your recent movie, The Second, with Ryan Phillippe. You you were phenomenal as a bad guy in that one. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, did you see The Warrant or G-Lock? Oh, seen- G-Lock was awesome. You were a bad guy in that one, too. Yeah, and did you see The Warrant? I haven't seen The Warrant yet. It's a Western with Neil McDonough and Stephen R. McQueen, Steve McQueen's grandson. Wow. Uh, and it, it's pretty cool. It's a it's a it's a cool western. I play a bad guy in that one too, though. You've been you've been playing bad guys recently. I've noticed that. You know, yeah. you know. I I, I I read your interview recently. You, you said people say you're cranky, so they they book you as a bad guy. Yeah, I guess so. I think was it is. I don't know. I was making a joke, but. Uh... <laughs> yeah. So, Casper, really quickly before we jump into um, deeper conversation, can we go ahead and do your snapshot? Yeah. Okay, fantastic. Uh, Conrad, we're going to take a snapshot. So if you'd like to focus your camera um, to, yep, there you go. If you both look at your cameras and smile or pose, snapshot in three, two, one. All right, perfect. Yeah, I'm a huge fan of your work. You know, I've, I've, all of it, you know, Titans, you were, you're great in that as Chandler, you know. Well, thank you. Wow. You know, you you are very underrated as an actor, in my opinion, you know. I appreciate uh, that. You know, I, I personally like your James Dean biopic over the one with James Franco. But you know, uh, when, when, that, when that one came out, I booked James Franco's one, too, but eight years beforehand. It was a big, it was going to be a big $50 million picture, but then it, it late, they did it eight years later with James Franco for a TV movie. But when I, when I booked my James Dean movie, I booked two James Dean movies, the, that Franco one and mine. And then mine was being made, but the James Frank one, they decided to push. And they pushed it for eight years, actually. And then they wow. turned it into a TV movie. So I had booked that one before him. Wow. So, but it, it became a big one for him. So That's yeah. that's news to me. Well, they were both good good films. Very good films. Uh, I loved your performance. I think you, you pulled off the red jacket from Rebel Without a Cause pretty well. Oh, thank you. Um, you know. That, that, well, that jacket is actually in the Fairmount uh, James Dean Museum, Fairmount, Indiana. Uh, it, it's uh, connected with the family over there. And I went back there and I gave them my script from the movie and my jacket and uh, I think the jeans and the boots too. Um, and they have it all over at that uh, museum in Fairmont, Indiana, the James Dean Museum. Awesome, awesome, I gotta check that out. Uh, how, how did you get the role for that? Um, well, they, they were auditioning for uh, in London, in, in New York, LA and uh, Vancouver. In Toronto and Miami for the James Dean, uh, the Franco one, but it was okay. eight years beforehand. They, they were going to do this big. It was going to be fifty million dollar movie. They were huge. They were all this, and uh, I auditioned for it. I auditioned for it like four times, and then I booked it. And then I auditioned for this little indie film that was auditioned in uh, Chicago, L.A., and New York, and I booked wow. that one. And then the little one went, "Hey, we can go right now." And the James Franco one said, uh, "It wasn't James Franco then." Uh, but the, the the movie behind it, they they said we we're gonna push probably for eight months, and so I, I decided to take my shot at uh at, at the smaller one because who knew the other one would even be made? I, I I think it came out well, you know. I I if, I, if I waited the other one, they they didn't do it for eight more years, and I would have been too old at that point in time to do it. So I was the right age and the right time for that one. You again, again, you had the hair for it at the time, and you 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 pulled it off. In my opinion one of your best roles oh thank you very much yeah i mean i've seen all i've seen some of your other films as well showdown in manila that was a great action flick uh the omega code uh again you're very versatile you've played so many different roles throughout your career and and you're like a chameleon you can you can pretty much do whatever you're very kind thank you conrad i really appreciate it you know um what would you say was your your favorite your favorite scene in starship troopers 
you know, there was the time where we were all running. Uh, I think Jake was talking about it in the panel we were doing, and then we had all these extras and all these actors running, and and we're just running, and there's just shooting. Uh, they're, they're just we're running from the drop ship out, and there were so many people, there were so many elements, and they had these practical uh, explosions going off, and they were going to do all these visual effects behind it, and and then we had to fire off a nuke, and and all these things had to go. It was so intricate. There's so many people, and I think it was a pretty amazing time to do. But I think I also loved being on the tanker bug and shooting that jumping off the mountain and doing that and uh and being in the scene with clancy brown and uh you know it, it's, it's just uh in in in, in dean norris that was pretty cool and i just had a i had a blast with everybody yeah that was awesome you know i even have the the tanker bot the tanker bug funko pop yeah you know, i also have uh the johnny rico funko pop you know i'm oh, a big yeah. starship troopers fan and you know, i have the 4k the 4K Blu-ray, uh, the the sequels, the animated series is pretty co cool too. There's another anime. There's a, there was an anime series called Blue Gender, and that had a similar vibe to Starship Troopers. Oh wow! Yeah, did you uh, did you get the Galoob toys from back in the day when Starship Troopers first came out? Yeah, yeah, they're they're pretty small, but they're pretty detailed. You know, they're yeah. pretty good, especially the the main warrior bug. That was pretty cool. Yeah. They have a new warrior bug out from the latest Starship Troopers that's over in Japan, and it's pretty intricate. It's the Shinji Arimaki, who's um, he's it, he's the director of the last two Starship Troopers, but he also does like uh, he did Apple. a lot of a lot of mecha anime. Yeah, he's a mecha. Yeah, he's the big mecha guy. He's like one of the top four in the world, and okay. he created a mecha suit for one of the Starship Troopers and also a warrior bug, which is pretty awesome. Very intricate stuff there. Um, you know, I you're you're a smart guy. You've you you follow mech and you follow stuff like Gundam and a lot of mech earlier early on. Um, you follow Common Rider. You know you you know a lot about mecha and, and anime. Well, I, I lived in Japan when I was a, a little when I, up until I was five. So my I feel like you know I, I have uh, like at my house when when I was living in LA I had a huge koi pond. I have I had bonsai trees. I still have bonsai trees now. Now that I don't live in LA anymore. I'm gonna do a koi pond again. I think that there's a huge influence by anime and uh and and just the japanese culture in my life because my dad was in charge of handing the navy base back to the japanese in 1970 71 and 72 when we were over there so uh he uh i think being over there and 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 being uh, like my when i went back for starship troopers to, to promote it i got to meet um my childhood idol over there who was a uh, common rider the masked rider his name is shinji fujioka son and he uh he uh, was like a 12 degree Don Shodagon, uh, you know, sword guy and all these other things. I mean, he's just, he was amazing. So it was kind of neat to, to see that. But I, I had all that influence, I think, just because I, my dad was in the military and we lived over there. So, Yeah, I, too, come from a military family. My, my dad served. And I thank you very much for I'm not sure how, mu how much longer we have here, but I thank you for everything, Casper. Oh, well, I appreciate it, Connor. I, I, I thank you so much. I have no idea either. They're, usually they come, they said that 14 seconds comes. Oh, 10, 9. I can do 10 more seconds. I'll do 10 more. There you go. 7, 6. There you thank go. Thank you, Casper. 10 more seconds. There you go. So, um, yeah, they're going to cut me off again in, in, uh, in 11. So, but, um, hey, man, I really appreciate you taking the time. And I uh, appreciate the, uh, the you know, you, you booking time with me. So, here we go. Thank yeah. you. There you go. But uh, it was a pleasure. And pleasure. Uh, check out the warrant. See what you think, man. Always. Thanks. You take yeah. care. All right. You too, man. I really appreciate it. Always. Stay strong. Yeah. Welcome to the Roughnecks. Do you want to live forever? <laughs> <laughs> Very cool. Right. Bye. Bye.